Alrighty guys, it's time for breakfast. This is my favorite meal of the day. I always like to start my breakfast off with a bowl of fruit. Today we're gonna be doing grapes, some grapefruit and coconut. This is just raw coconut I get at Whole Foods. And then I'm gonna pair it with two eggs with some avocado and everything but the bagel seasoning. You can get this at Trader Joe's. It's so good. Garlic and onion and like huge chunks of sea salt. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be my breakfast. Alrighty guys, it is time for lunch. I have been loving salads, so I always tend to have some sort of salad. During lunchtime, we have arugula here. I'm gonna throw in some baby kale and some romaine lettuce. And then for the dressing, I'm gonna do a little bit of lemon, sea salt, and some olive oil. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan on top. And then this is new. We've never seen it before, but we picked it up at Trader Joe's. It's the chili chicken wrap. It's just a wrap with chicken and black peas. We're gonna pop this in the oven and have ourselves a really nice healthy lunch. Trying to eat healthy dinner is where I typically lack because I really hate cooking. I'm very lazy and I would prefer to just snack. But we're gonna like make really healthy dinners this week. That's the goal. So I found this recipe for some salmon online. I will pop it in the description box for you guys. I always get wild caught Alaskan salmon. Never get farm raised. It's not healthy for you. This is from Trader Joe's. You can find some wild caught salmon fresh at Trader Joe's. I know Whole Foods sells them frozen, like little fillets, pre-packaged, which is also a good option. So yeah, I'm gonna be making this. And then as for the recipe, the spices and stuff that you need is some brown sugar, paprika, pepper, garlic, some sea salt, maple syrup, and some olive oil. So we're gonna do this, add some veggies, and make it a meal. today my ultimate favorite cereal is this trader joe's cereal if you've never tried it i highly recommend to go pick it up it is so crunchy it remains crunchy it has the perfect amount of sweetness the nuts in here are like full and whole they don't skimp out on you it's just really 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 good cereal so i'm gonna do this for my fruit bowl i'm gonna do an apple some kiwi and some grapes i've been on like a grape kick lately yeah and we're gonna chill and watch the bachelor so we're gonna eat on the couch <laughs> guys i'm on my way to the gym i didn't work out yesterday i had a doctor's appointment so i decided not to but today i think i'm gonna do some legs and yeah i haven't been to the gym in a while so i'm really excited When we rewind, it feels 
literally thinking of my built bar while I was working out. This portion of the video is sponsored by them. We already blew through the whole entire other variety pack box. They have over 18 different flavors in here. Every single bar in here is different than the next. There's not any duplicated, which is so much fun. It's like reaching into a chocolate box and just picking out and trying different flavors. My favorite so far is the coconut, which I'm actually going to search for in here because I have yet to have this one in this box. And it's pretty. <laughs> he likes them too, obviously. I'm looking for this one the coconut one this tastes like an almond joy these are the perfect like post-workout um snack because they're filled with protein super low in sugar super low in calories they taste like a freaking candy bar and they're quick and easy on the go um they actually gave you guys a discount code if you use the code amberg20 you can get 20 percent off highly highly recommend this is probably by far one of my favorite ever sponsors um i actually was a buyer of these before they even sponsored my video so i'm super thankful i'm gonna munch on this this is my next little snack put these away and try not to eat the whole box in one day okay update i switched to the coconut almond this this one is more like an almond joy because the almonds are like whole in here so they're like a crunch so this one's literally like a freaking almond joy it is lunchtime i'm gonna make myself like a sandwich but basically just like open toast open ended to i don't even know what to call it basically two pieces of toast with different things on there so i'm gonna use some ezekiel bread this is super healthy like i think one of the healthiest breads for you i just leave it in the freezer but i'm gonna be using two pieces of toast with that and then i'm gonna do one side with tuna i'm gonna like toss it in a little bit of mayo add some avocado to that and then use the avocado as kind of like the base with the tuna on top and then the other side i'm gonna mash up some garbanzo beans i saw this in another video i haven't tried it yet so hopefully it's good with a little bit of mayo and maybe throw in some pickles here is the final product i did some chickpea like mash avocado tuna added a pickle got my lemonade and a little bit of sea salt on top and that is my lunch Wednesday, I'm gonna make me some oats and fruit. Oats is a really, really good option if you guys are like really hungry. It fills me up. It's like full of like protein, carbs, fiber, and keeps me full throughout the day. And it's actually 11 o'clock right now. I don't typically eat breakfast this late, but I was editing and I got distracted with time. So, um, oats, I'm just doing regular oats. I like to top it with some honey, blueberries, almond slices, coconut. A little bit of granola and some peanut butter and then we're gonna make a fruit bowl today we're doing grapefruit coconut and grapes hello Ramona. i can't shake the simplest feeling on the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello Alright guys, I am about to head to the gym and I'm gonna grab a Celsius heat. These things are so freaking intense. If you ever need energy, drink half of this and you'll go crazy. Whenever I drink this, I get so much stuff done. I jump around, I dance, it's just freaking amazing. I've kind of went on a energy drink like binger like trying all the different flavors and by far the celsius heat is my favorite and i think it's just better in terms of ingredients and stuff so i'm gonna drink half of this and then go work out i think i'm gonna do my back today and maybe my abs Look as far as I can see.
you guys i just got back from the gym something that i've started doing is having a protein shake literally like right after the gym so i can get my protein in and hopefully feed the muscles that i just hopefully built so i'm gonna make a quick simple protein shake this is always like my go-to shake it's really good really simple and you get a lot of nutrients so i jam pack it with spinach i just freeze mine and it's like little spinach chips um i do half a frozen banana and then i'll put in some vega one this is my favorite protein powder ever it's the chocolate all-in-one plant-based uh protein shake i'll link it down below it has so many nutrients in here it has like omega-3 greens fiber vitamins 20 grams of protein probiotics only one gram of sugar antioxidants vitamins a and c and only 150 calories per one scoop and to me it tastes the best so we're gonna do that i also throw in a scoop of collagen protein I actually started using this just because I've heard so many great benefits of collagen for your skin, hair, and nails. This one is grass-fed, pasture-raised. I get mine from Amazon. I'll also link this down below. Little did I know that this is actually 20 grams of protein as well and tastes like nothing. Like, literally, it's just something that you put in your smoothie. Um, unflavored. Yeah, it helps with your skin elasticity. So, like, the plumpness of your skin, the youthfulness of your skin. It's great. So technically the smoothie ends up being 40 grams of protein total. I'll do half unsweetened almond milk and then half coconut water. It's great, great smoothie. Kind of is a little thicker. Literally tastes like, kind of like a milkshake. And then a few cubes of ice. So I'm gonna make that. Alright guys, I'm having some leftover. Um, we went to a restaurant last night called Carbone. It was a Michelin star restaurant and it was amazing. This is like this spicy pasta, I think it's like a vodka sauce and we got the meatballs. We had a Caesar salad last night, it was really good. The croutons are insane. So I'm just gonna snack on this and eat it. Just little leftovers. Alright, quick snack. I'm gonna have a little yogurt bowl. Mangoes and cream. All right, guys, I am literally greasing today. Um, but I'm gonna snack on these. Uh, a subscriber actually told me to pop these in the freezer and it's like a game changer. Uh, they're just like little dark chocolate sticks with orange flavoring. And this is like what the inside looks like. It's a really good snack. I like it better when it was in the freezer. Good morning. So I apologize. I actually didn't vlog my meal last night. But basically Noah made this like chicken wrap. He uses a Trader Joe's like pre-marinated chicken and that's like the key to it to any meat is if you marinate it it comes out really tender and soft and juicy. So he like put that in the oven and then paired it with this sauce that he made. So it's like he'll like throw in a blender like jalapeno, lime, cilantro, tomatoes, salt, and like spices and stuff. I probably should have vlogged that, but he already made it like before this week. So um yeah, I'll do another one of these in the future too with like more in-depth of recipes. He put it on with more cilantro, lime, or lemon and like raw onions. It was really good. It was just really yummy almost like kind of like a middle eastern wrap i ate some dessert so i like the honey wheat pretzels from trader joe's mixed with the almond cocoa spread it's almost like a nutella but i think healthier um and you mix those two they're really good so we ate some of those and watched firefly lane and i was just being lazy yesterday it's kind of hard to pick up the camera every time you eat a meal like try it one time like do a food diary it's kind of difficult. But yeah, this morning I woke up, I made a matcha latte. I've been obsessed with matcha lattes. I don't know, I'm kind of over the like warm coffee. I'm a big fan of espresso. I love iced coffee, but matcha is where it's at. I use the Peak Matcha. It's amazing. They come in like these little pre-packaged like one-time servings, which makes it so like not messy. And I'll pair it with some oat milk and maple syrup. Maple syrup has my heart because it's like one of the most easiest and beneficial natural source of sugar, even over honey. So 
yeah i'm gonna enjoy this this morning uh today's friday last day cheers oh supposed to drink it this way comment down below if you know where this is from all right so even though it's snowing and like 20 degrees outside i'm gonna make an acai bowl i'm gonna do frozen banana one pack of acai frozen i don't think they have fresh I don't, i've never seen fresh acai and because acai is very bitter i also like to add in some mixed berries as well to add some sweetness and then to add some creaminess and texture and protein i do a scoop of peanut butter and then i'm gonna add like the smallest dash of almond milk just to get some leverage in the stirring process i like it to be as thick as possible so we're just going to do a little bit if i need to add any i'll add it as i go how cute is this new bowl i found this on amazon it's a coconut bowl this is the texture that i like it to be it's kind of like ice cream if you will i'm gonna add some purely elizabeth granola this is my favorite i really like the non-grain granola from trader joe's but apparently right when i started liking it they discontinued it which is great i mean this one's really good too so and it has less sugar anyway i'm gonna add a little bit of coconut flakes i honestly never do this but i just want to make it pretty right now because i'm using my coconut bowl the first time typically i'll only do granola and some hemp hearts and there you have it my tropical coconut bowl acai bowl in this freezing weather <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna be making a simple caesar salad today's an editing day i'm literally not even moving from my desk these are so simple i get them from trader joe's any salad kit honestly i think they have them pretty much everywhere but it comes with like the dressing and the little goodies and all that stuff and i think i'm gonna substitute the croutons for these these are just healthier they're plantain croutons um and only a few ingredients got these from Trader Joe's too so that's what i'm gonna make all right guys i'm literally eating all florida food today it's legit snowing there's a freaking blizzard going on out there and i had a an acai bowl this morning in a coconut bowl and now i'm eating a crisp cold caesar salad that would go perfect with a hot florida day but yeah that's my lunch so i'm still at my desk editing away and i'm gonna have this as a little snack i literally live on these they're so good all right guys i am gonna run a little bit i am drinking the rest of the celsius heat that i started the other day i only drink half at a time because it literally just makes me so freaking hyper but it doesn't like mess with my sleep in any way which is really surprising you just get like so hyper for like five seconds and then you work out or do something i dance a lot so like i do something to kind of like transform that energy into something else and then i'm like not out by the end of the day yeah so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna have a perfect bar as like a little pre-workout snack um but i also wanted to talk to you guys about the supplements that i take so i take these pretty much every single day or i try my best to one of the ones that i take first is l carnitine this is like a fitness supplement it transfers your food to energy and helps with like muscle recovery i've been recently taking fish oil i know that that's like a really really good one vitamin d is something that i've been taking just because there's no freaking sun here in the city so like mental health i will sometimes take immunity um if i'm ever feeling sick or if i put myself in a situation where i'm just like not comfortable just for safety purposes magnesium i like to take i take d Minos. this is like a urinary tract kind of thing ashwagandha is a stress support i don't take this one every day rhodolia i don't know how to pronounce it but apparently if you take it every day it won't have the same benefits like your body will get used to it but it's a huge stress like support and whenever i'm feeling so stressed out or just emotionally overwhelmed i'll take one of these and it just really helps kind of stabilize my mood but i try not to take it every day just because like i said the more you take it the more your body kind of just like gets used to it i take a multivitamin i use ritual women and then i'll take a probiotic for women so those are my crazy amount of supplements yeah i've definitely noticed like energy from the supplements since i've ta since i've started taking supplements I've noticed my mood is more stable and my energy and like my fitness game is definitely up. Like I recover quicker and I'm not as sick. I stopped taking my supplements for like a few days in a row and I kind of 
noticed like I just wasn't feeling the best so I definitely think they're doing something there's no really harm in taking them so that's what I take I'll pop them all down below for you guys if you're interested I'll pop down all the ones that I personally take like the brands and stuff so yeah I'll see you guys on the flip side of my insane hyperness I know a lot of you guys ask me about my treadmill. It's from Amazon. It's actually not that expensive for like a fitness equipment. And I actually store it underneath my couch. It has like a little roller here. So if you lift this up, it's almost like a suitcase. It like rolls and it's super thin. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's just so easy. You just pop this up. There's a little thing like this. There's like a Bluetooth thing. You just pop these down like this and then you're ready to go It is Friday night. I have been editing since like 6 or 7 this morning and it's like 8.40. I'm actually editing this vlog. Um, so I just have this final clip and I'm done. I am going to have some dessert. I'm just going to eat some more of these protein oat balls. They're really, really good. And for dinner, I had the leftover chicken shawarma. That was so good. You guys got to try it. The marinated one from Trader Joe's. And Noah made some basmati rice. He just adds a little bit of turmeric, which is why it was yellow, olive oil. And yeah, that's my complete what I eat in a week and fitness of the week. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would love to do another one. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys all in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you.